<laughs> as Yvonne Mangunda and it's the first episode of A Woman in Sport where I talk about my journey as a broadcaster and today I thought I should just start with a very controversial issue, an issue that I get a lot and my question is because I'm a female in a male dominated sport and I cover sport, does that automatically make me a feminist? Does that automatically make me a poster girl for women's sport does that automatically mean i am the spokesperson for women's sport the reason why i ask is that i get this this a lot like ha huh, you don't cover mighty warriors as much as you do the warriors you don't cover the gems as much as you do you know the cricket team and my question is i've never heard in my whole time that i've been covering anybody asking the same question let's say for spencer band i used to cover the mighty warriors when he was at star fm i've never heard anyone say why are you covering the mighty warriors and not the warriors obviously I am part of the minority in sport. Obviously, that would be a reason to say, okay, but for the men, you know. But I just feel like sometimes we're unfair on women because you automatically feel like as a woman, if you don't push women in sport, then you're doing a disservice to fellow women. But should it be like that? Should I not have a choice to say, this is the sport that I cover, this is my beat, this is my beat, this is my beat. Because when I talk about that, there are very few journalists in Zimbabwe that can cover any sport. A lot of people have certain, when I talk about a beat, it is certain areas that you cover. Like you could be a cricket um, journalist and cover a lot of cricket, a lot of rugby, a lot of that. Or you could be a football person who occasionally covers this and this. There are very few that are like, you know, can be able to cover all the sports. And that's why I say kudos to people like Colin Mantiza and Spencer Banda who went to the Olympics because it takes a lot for you to be able to cover all those sports. So is it a problem then when there are certain sports that I'll cover that are men oriented and then people feel like maybe the ladies are not getting enough coverage. Do I automatically as Yvonne Mangunda become at Star FM the person who should be push pushing women's sport? Why if Spencer is pushing it, if Simba Chiminya is pushing it, will then somebody feel like why is Yvonne not pushing it? Because sometimes we force women in whatever industries, be it the the pilots, be it these industries, the mechanics who are few in their industries to automatically become feminist, to become the people pushing uh, for the women, uh, women cause. But sometimes, what if you're just not that person? What if you're just a person that believes in waking up, going to work, having a choice to cover what you cover without looking at the gender? I don't. That's what I do. I don't look at the gender. And I remember very early in my career, my boss Steve Vickers coming to me and saying, um, when the assignments, like they say, the assignments to go and cover women's sport. And he would say, Yvonne, you don't always have to be the first choice. Because the moment I say you are the first choice to go and cover the Mighty Warriors or that, already I'm putting you in a box to say, you're a female, this is for you. But we should be in an environment where it's a diary, <laughs> it's a story. Anyone can cover it. And nobody should feel like, why is she doing this more? Why is there more Dynamos, more Ngezi Platinum, more Caps United than Correctional Queens, than Black Rhinos? Why is she not at a gems trip, but she's always going to the Warriors? I feel like you have to have a choice. And I've always said this, I am not a feminist. I will never be a feminist. I just believe in equal opportunities and people pushing for it. Because sometimes I feel extreme feminists will try and push you to be a certain person to be too wary of things that are happening around you because for me my gender and we'll talk about this in the next episode my gender is my advantage do you know why i say it's my advantage when i get on the radio and i talk about a football match and i talk about a cricket game it doesn't matter how basic it is people go wow a woman talking about football when howard when Simba, when Ash, when Steve go on radio and talk about football, the same stuff I'm talking about, maybe even more technically gifted than myself, it's a norm. I mean, all men know football. That's the norm. So for me, I don't feel the need to use my gender to go to the next stage because I feel I already have the advantage. I had a girl come to me and say, she was doing a Women's Month thing, and she said, Yvonne, I want you to do the story. Talk about your struggles as a female journalist. And I said, ah, I don't have. She's like, no, 
and she refused to do the interview because she said no I want to hear the obstacles because I told her the exact same thing I said no my gender is my advantage in this industry as a female sporting journalist when I go on radio whether it's commentary and I talk about football especially when it's football when I go there and I'm analyzing people listen to it and think it's amazing they think wow you look at South Africa it's starting to not be such a big wow because there's so many women that are now on your super sport on your SABC so it's not really like a big wow but in Zimbabwe it's a big wow there are so many female journalists in print but in broadcasting there are very few of us so when you listen to a woman you're like oh wow she's amazing so why then should I feel the need to then want to have advantage over my gender but when it comes to other issues I'm then like no 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 we need to be pushing this I will push or I will cover sports that I can cover sports that I feel like covering without thinking about gender because first and foremost I'm Yvonne Mangunda when I went into that queue for Star FM I queued as Yvonne Mangunda no no way during the interview process was I asked my gender or did my gender get to be discussed it was me getting there and delivering what i could probably my gender made it an advantage for me to get the job there are more than 2500 people and i'm the only female in the sports department it's gender so please don't box me i refuse to be boxed and i'm speaking to you who wants to box a person don't box a person don't don't tell a person what they can and cannot cover because sport is exactly that and we're trying to cut the barriers and you can't cut barriers by saying we want equal this woman equal that and then when it comes to coverage you say because you're a female give us more sports should be covered just as sport so that is the episode today and uh, we'll continue to talk about a woman in sport talking about the issues that I probably wouldn't say on radio <laughs> but that's what YouTube allows you to do talk about the issues don't box me I refuse to be boxed